ay, yeah Blowing gas, think I'm sick, oh Remember they were hating cold, shoulder like snow I'll be with the hippies rolling What is up everybody, it is Boy Fry Today we're gonna be working on a Pierre style uh, recording template So you know, you wanna come out here and uh, you know Get some game, let's get into it So you know, I always forget to do the auditory and all that stuff So I've got this up here just to remind me, you know what I mean uh, But yeah, let's take a listen first This is pretty much a remix of the um what is the song called again? Planet Dynamic, which is a really cool beat, you know, I really like it. So let's get straight into it. Hey, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick, oh. Remember they were hating cold, shoulder like snow. I'll be with the hippies rolling up the indigo. Never texted back, now she texted me, hello. Looking at the sky, all I had was a dream Sometimes I wonder why this isn't what it seems Now I'm out of sight, you can't find me no more Special beam, cannon counting green like piccolo Whoa, yeah, I like when she flex Never speak again if she my ex Alright, 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 alright So, um, I'll pretty much be breaking this whole thing down into a few videos Because obviously there's so much to get done I don't want to make the video like, you know, 20 minutes or whatever So, we're just going to be focusing on getting the sonics of the main vocal right So, as you can see, that's where our main vocal is That's where our main vocal is Um, you know, I'll do the background vocals in another video But anyway, to start off with the sonics, right Obviously we have our auto tune, which is set quite aggressively but uh if you use this the right way if you if you feel you're not too good with auto tune um reduce this you know what i mean uh but once you learn how to really stretch and utilize auto tune you can kind of get that retune speed to zero without really making it sound too robotic um the humanize knob is awesome with 8.1 i have not upgraded to the new one because i purchased this and now it's kind of like you know uh it's an upgrade but yeah this is what's going to get you initially a great sound is this crow preamp um I mean, I think it was Roy. Roy showed me this. If I turn it off, you can hear how much more bright this is. This is just such a perfect plug-in to smooth vocals. So listen with it and without. Just kind of skip there. Hey, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick, oh. So I'll play it again. You heard the treble. Hey, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick, oh. Remember they were hanging cold, shoulder like snow. I'll be with the hippies rolling up there. It just gets rid of all that digital, you know, stuff. I don't want to swear, you know what I'm saying? Monetization gang, you feel me? <laughs> um, yeah, and I will be giving away a version of FL off my uh, monetization money. You know what I mean? Eventually, so don't hold my words to it. But um, yeah, and so what we're doing next after the preamps is just a bit of chorus. Um, what I have learned from, you know, the late Seth Falcons, rest in peace, was Futures Engineer, is he used flange as a kind of... Um, get a more tape sound to the vocal now you know tape kind of moves up and down in a way so it, it modulates the vocal in a sense right so i've kind of figured this preset out just to kind of um just get a slight sound if you want to hear it full you know there are strange techniques to kind of mess around with um, actual tape machines to get this type of sound so that's what we're using to get our think about it as our recording input stage right before we do any processing we want to just get our vocal to sound analog you know what i mean so let's listen without hey, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick, oh. i mean it just sounds so analog so it makes the mixing stage a lot easier you don't have to kind of destroy um your actual vocal to get it to sound analog per se that's kind of my style uh but yeah so the first thing we're going to be doing is just the 80 hertz cut, really basic stuff. Uh, just get rid of uh, subsonic noise. We don't want that. Uh, dip a little bit where necessary, you know, wherever your voice has that bump that you don't want. That's kind of clashing with um, the lower mids of the beat. You kind of want to get rid of that. Uh, next, what we're doing is some, uh, whoop, my bad, some de-essing and EQ. Now, as you can see, this cut at 354 is crazy. But if I disable it, you can hear um, how... You know the 808 clashes with the voice which we don't want to happen so let me play this without and i'll turn it on hey, yeah blowing gas think i'm sick oh remember they were hating cold shoulder like snow i'll be with the hippies rolling up the indigo you know what i mean it, it's it, it takes it from just a, a kind of bland recording and then kind of emphasizes you know we don't have to boost to emphasize things all the time we can cut and then with that, we can then boost the overall level to get more emphasis, if you know what I'm saying. So we're doing a bit of DSing. Um, I hope you've been following these meters right here. Very slight. Just listen to the first S you hear. Hey, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick, oh. Remember they were hanging cold, shoulder like snow. 
You know what I mean? Wherever we get an aggressive S sound, we uh, compress that with a multiband compressor, which can be a de-esser. Um, I really like the multiband for that. Uh, much better than any free de-esser. Uh, free de-essers, you know, they don't really sound too good all the time. They can tend to smear your, your vocal sound. Uh, then after we've de-essed, we actually boost, because now we've smoothed the vocal out, we can boost a little bit. And we are doing de-essing again later on, but we'll get to that. Uh, you know, just trimming away a lot of the lower mids, getting rid of a bit of bass and boosting. You know, we're gonna stick to the same theme because uh, when you check out here, my favorite kind of pull text style EQ, this is all free by the way. If you are looking for any of these plugins, just type in, for example, the Black Dragon VST4 um, free, and then you will find that uh, on vst4free.com. Awesome, just free plugins, untrust, really cool stuff. Um, what I am doing is just kind of, uh, let me play this and then I'll, I'll, let me play it off and then I'll turn it on and you guys can, you know, tell me what you hear and then I'll tell you what I'm hearing. Hey, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick, oh. Remember that we're hating cold, shoulder like snow. I be with the hippies rolling up the indigo. Never texted back, now she texted me. You know what we get is a bit of tube warmth, um, but mostly we we be getting rid of the kind of top end. As I say, we want to focus on the same kind of thing. You know, I'm not really boosting any top end. We kind of want to tame that. You know, the PS style, um, you know, songs have you know the vocal not too loud, more so letting the bass you know be the the driving point. But the lyrics being a nice addition to the song, uh, getting rid of a bit more bass, similar to this. You know, we we doing everything incrementally to get a, a nice result. Um, I prefer doing it like that. And then what we're doing is just some kind of um, level amplifying style compression. So as you can see, I'm not doing too much compression. You know, the song doesn't have too much going on, so we don't need to compress it too much, but, um, you know. Hey, yeah. So what you really want to be doing with these types of compressors is just to get more level out of them so you can gain it a little bit and then compress it at the same time. Uh, we're using a fast style of compression, really cool. Uh, another little addition to the whole template style is, oh, I thought I was going to crash there, but the cinematic reverb, which if I put this on full, let me just make sure I don't mess it up, but uh, let me get to somewhere else in the song. Hola, way, drip with that walk. Hola, way. I walk the talk, hit it when she's stuck. Why you stalking me? Michael Jackson with that money in my walk with me. Yeah, ay, yeah, blowing gas, think I'm sick. Oh, really cool. So, um, what I am doing is pretty much just automating the reverb to, 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 you know, increase in, in mix amount, I guess. You know, just so the, the chorus kind of divides from the verse a little bit, you know what I mean? So the verse is a bit more dry, chorus is a bit more wet, if that makes any sense. All right, you know, DSing again, pretty much the same settings. Just set up, um, you know, the threshold you can use with the knee and the attack speed. If you feel that the DS is, is, is grabbing, you know, some of the initial words too much, you can increase the attack time, right? Attack time means that uh, is when the compressor actually starts to act. Um, yeah, pretty much there. Then we're just doing my little EQ I use for vocals a lot just to get rid of again some of the top end and anything I find annoying I kind of use this minimally just to you know tame things. And then we're doing some free compressor and this is cool because it's also a visual uh, representation of what's going on so. Hola, way, drip with that walk. Hola, way, I walk the talk. Hit it when she's stuck. Why you stalking me? Michael Jackson with that money in my walk with me. Oh man, I freestyled this whole, like the, the verses and everything, all freestyled. It was really fun. Uh, it's a really cool beat. I'm actually going to leave this in the description for you to go and remix this. I'll mute these verses and you guys can go ahead and remix this. Um, the beat was by Pure Gold, as you can see, but I ran it through some cool gear just to kind of make it sound more um, grungy. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. Um, not much else going on besides a bit more DSing, tiny bit of EQ. You know, uh, here you can see we, we EQ to get our intelligibility out because we've DS three times. So now the vocal is so smooth that we can actually increase the um, the air of the, the vocals. So, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of uh, not flat, but dull now. So we can kind of get that back. And it's not too harsh anymore, you know what I mean? It's all been smoothed down like a, a carpenter would do uh, with a table or something. So yeah, that's pretty much all I could show you there. Um, what else we can look at is just how I'm setting up this reverb. So pretty much just a 
normal reverb into the cinematic reverb just for a bit more texture. If I boost the reverb, you can kind of hear. Holla, way, drip with that walk. Holla, way, I walk the talk. Hit it when she's stuck. Why you stalking me? Michael Jackson, that money in my walk with me. Yeah. Ay. So yeah, there you go. That's pretty much how we're going to be doing it. Um, One thing. Oh my gosh, I got two vocals going on there um this is a cool little trick here i'm going to show you guys some mastering stuff here uh the w1 limiter you know a lot of people they're like oh man we don't have any waves plugins so this is a pretty much a recreation of the waves l1 now i absolutely love the waves l1 for um you know beefing if, if i wasn't using this over here i would probably have a, a, a waves l1 there but the w1 sounds pretty much similar this one i actually almost like more you know but uh, you can go and find this. this, just type in W1 limited is free. And you can, the way this limiter works is that when you pull the threshold down, it gets louder. So what I do with that is, is I use that before the actual final limiter, right? Just to get a bit more loudness. And I'll just play that. Holla, way, drip with that walk. Holla, way, I walk the talk. You know, and what I like about this style of limit is it just kind of emphasizes everything in a really natural way. Now, this little plugin you see here, this is a new addition as well. It's the Terry West Easy NY. For those who don't know what NY style compression is or paralleling, is pretty much when you uh, create a duplicate of a sound, right? So the, the sound here is the whole mix. So this mix knob, basically, if I put it all the way to uh, center, which is five, I hope I can go back. Yes, I can. Um, we're pretty much duplicating the signal to get more loudness out of it. And I've got this Motown and boost setting on. So I'm using this really minimally. You know, we've, we've done the mix. We just kind of want to get a bit more loudness through and a bit of EQ. Um, but yeah, if I turn this off. Holla, way, drip with that walk. Everything is a bit more emphasized. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'll do in this video. I will break down ad libs, background vocals in the next video. So stay tuned. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know, like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the sound of this template, you know, stop by the web store. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you can purchase this. All plugins are free within this template. Um, and yeah, you can also hop on this if you just want to do the remix on your own. I will leave this in the description without the verses as well without the mastering settings so that you can mix your vocals and then boost it as well. So and if you have the template, then you can just, you know, pop that in, apply the master settings, just turn them on and boom, you're good to go with the remix or with whatever song you want to do. It is your boy Fry. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in uh, the next part of the series. Peace out.